Hello YouTube and welcome to Groundworks. This is another episode of KSP Mod Spotlight and today we will be previewing the mod named Real Plume and it's actually stock configs. So this mod has originally been created by the user Felger uh, and uh, or Felger is, is the original user of the Real Plume stock configs and uh, currently this mod is maintained by users Derpy Firework and Nhawks17 so thank you very much for that and what this um, wonderful mod actually adds is real plumes to your rockets and real plume is a mod that has originally been known to the users uh, or well known among the RSS users and now it has been brought over for also the non-RSS users to enjoy. If you look at this, it, um, it really provides a beautiful plume <coughs> for your stock uh, rockets so that you can enjoy the realistic, um, yeah, realistic smoke. So it's a very small mod, but it's a very high quality of life. And I think this mod actually goes fantastically together with the mod that we have previously showcased, which is the engine lighting. So uh, if you haven't seen it, the the um, episode, I will show, I will put the link in the description below. Okay, so anyway, <coughs> here are a couple of more shots of Jab um, well, ascending in the orbit and you can see that according to the height the real plume actually models different types of plume behind your engine so your engines no longer look like they're all the same regardless of where in which situation you are and I think it's really really cool because also different engines have different plumes so mm, I really think that this mod X adds a lot to the immersion of the game. It's not a big mod, uh, but it definitely supports a whole lot of uh, actual uh, rocket engines. And it will overwrite as well your settings if you have like hot rockets or something, this will probably overwrite them. So, as you can see, this is like uh, me a little bit showcasing the Nerva and to be able to show you what is the, really the difference, I have created a split screen with roughly the same or exactly the same rocket but roughly similar launch. On the left hand you have the stock KSP and on the right hand side you have Real Plume. As you can see Real Plume does look a little bit more lean on the initial ascent but as you go further up you will see that the stock ASP is basically more of the same old same old while the real plume with the height actually increases in size and thickness creating a little bit more realistic plume so these two rockets are actually exactly the or are exactly the same and it's just and I try to sync them to the best of my ability so that you can actually see the effects and yeah, so definitely thank you very much uh, Nhawks17 and uh, Felger for this wonderful work. Uh, this I will definitely use in one of my future playthroughs, especially in the 1.1 uh, and yeah, this so just sit back and enjoy the rest of the show in terms of how nice the plumes look and you can see now our second stage uh, looks very different based on height and uh, I think overall if you have seen the real rocket launches the real plume really manages to capture uh, this feeling to a very very nice degree yeah so okay Let's just see how the real plume handles a little bit more height. We are now at 48,000. So once we get around 70, I think I'm gonna call this for the episode. So here you can see the stock guppy engine, which is a 2.5 meter. And here you have the real plume showing what it looks like. So yeah, thank you very much, very much guys for watching. This is Groundworks signing off.